Hello React developers, welcome back. Today we are diving into one of the coolest design patterns in React, the render props pattern. By end of this video, you will know how to build flexible and reusable components using this pattern. Plus, we will be using TypeScript to make our code super safe and time with CSS to make it look clean and modern. Let's dive right into it. So what is the render props pattern? In simple terms, it is a pattern where we pass functions as props to a component, and that component uses those functions to display information. This makes it easy to reuse code across components without repeating logic everywhere. Today's example is simple. We are building currency converter, and we will have an input field where users can type in amount in USD, and we will show the converted amount in euros and Japanese yen. Now let's see how this works in the code. First thing, we will set up our input component, and I created a blank one at the moment, and this one will handle the currency conversion. And we will add also types to ensure we handle everything safely. We are also going to start using time with CSS to make our component look a little bit nicer for this demo. So let me generate a functional component. I'll send name it input. I need to import a state, use state hook from React. And reason why is because we'll be tracking the input uh, from the users, we need to store it somewhere. So for today, we just that simple. We use just use state, and I will call it um, I'll call it value, and set value to help me set up that state, and that will be equal to use state, okay? And we'll initialize it at zero at the moment. So here I'll say this one will be type of number because I know my value will be tracking will be a number. Then I will come inside my UI and what I will do, I will just add an input here. Let me close the div. And at this input, what it does is it just type of number to make sure the user only inputting numbers. Then we're reading the value from the state. And then also we are using the onChange function to track the user input. And whenever they write something, we're just storing the state and displaying it again to the UI. And the placeholder, we just say enter the amount in USD. Now we said this one will handle for us this, um, the render of our converted values. So how we will do that? We will expect now two functions that will pass as props to our components. And that one will be called one render euros and render yen. And of course, because I'm using TypeScript, I need to add a uh, type safety. So I'm declaring here the type. So this one is the type of my input props. So I'll come here, I'll set that type of react.functional component. And to be exact, expecting some props with the type of input props. Okay. And this input props is just functions, which you accept a prop, which will be an object which having a value in it and that will be type of number and will give us back in the end which will return us a react node which really means HTML, JSX or whatever you want to call it. Now we're expecting these props what we will do with them we will actually come to our UI and just render them and basically these functions what they will do is it just pick up the current value the user entered and then convert it to the currency accordingly okay now this literally looks now interesting so we use input props to type our component props which takes two functions render euros and render yen then we also define this render props interface up here which is the structure of the props we will pass to these render functions then our input component will take the user input and then we use this render euros and render yen to display those converted values and with tailwind we just uh, sign in the input and the output to make our ui clean and responsive as well now let's go back to our page we want to render this component and what i will do i'll just go inside here and we want now to call our input and pass in our two render functions. Okay, so let me call my input component. I have to import it as well. Now we have to pass on those functions. 
so our input will be red you can see now it's complaining because we said it's expecting these properties as mandatory right so let's pass those now here it may look too much but trust me it's very really simple now this and render euro and render yen props receive the converted value from the input while the user is typing and we style it with Tywin cluster to display the amount in green for the euro and purple for the yen and we make it visually appealing so using to fixed here the function here we just ensure that we're only showing two decimal places for euros and rounded integer for the yen now let's go and test this out i'll just run my code and go to my ui and you can see that's my ui at the moment so i should start typing and see the same time the conversion number here so as i start typing you can see immediately i can see the converted amount in euros and in yen appears right below and updating automatically as we type it's that much simple our input components is reusable and flexible thanks to the render props better now let's recap of the benefits of using the render props pattern first things reusability we put our currency conversion logic in one place and reuse it without any duplications second thing is flexibility we can add more currencies or change how they display by just adding more render functions no changes needed to the input component then type safety with typescript we are confident our code is working correctly and handling the data the way we expected and that is it if you found this helpful hit that like button subscribe and let me know in the comments if you want more videos on react pattern thanks for watching and happy coding